Hello, hello. How are you? Do you hear me? Yes, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, guys. Nice to see you. Thank you for being on time. Wow, Marina Sanchez is cooking. What are you doing at this time? <laughs> okay, guys. Um, we're going to start. I'm sweating super hot today. Well, it's because I have been just burying my little dog, enterrado, guys. Yeah, I just buried him. So, uh, unfortunately, he died. Yeah, yeah, espero que. Yeah, so I hope that he's, well, he's not suffering anymore. Por lo menos ya no está sufriendo. Yeah, ever, I know, I know, I know. So, as you see, I'm sweating because of that. Si, sí, acabo de hacerlo. Uh, they gave me the body by, by 6.30. So, I ran, you know, the traffic. But I'm, a, I'm still here, okay? Okay, so we will continue with the class. We were going to see... Let me see. What was the last part we studied, guys? Uh-uh. Uh -huh. Remind me. ¿A dónde nos quedamos? In the exercise of the platform. Yeah. Thank you. Es y vamos a ver. Give me a second, guys. Oh, my God. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. So we were going to answer the uh, the exercise 1.4, right? The knowledge check. The knowledge check, okay. Nice, nice, nice. Just a second. Yeah, the relative pronouns. So we were doing this knowledge check. Okay, so we were saying that the number one was, let me see if it's Elizabeth here, if she remembers the correct answer. I'm getting closer to the fan. Okay. So what was the first option? I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with this person. Ah, okay, that is the correct answer. But how do you form? How do you form the relative pronoun? Le vamos a quitar esta parte. Se acuerdan? Le quitamos una parte porque ya estábamos hablando de a partner. So we're talking about that person. Say. ¿Cómo quedaba? Ajá. Uh -huh. That is what we um, answered yesterday. Uh -huh. I have nothing in common. Who? Um, mm, no. Ernesto, you're, you're like no, knowing, um, you're like, you're... You're moving, <laughs> you're not, your your head. So what do you think? I don't want uh, to have a partner who... I don't want to have a partner who I have nothing in common with. That's it. All right. So you, you don't have to mention the person anymore. You already per, uh, mentioned the, par, uh, the partner. All right. Nice. The second, how was the number two? I like to meet people. May you that Susana, please help me, okay? All right, give me a second. I have a call with Ah, uh, okay. I like to meet people. Um uh, these people have a good sense of humor, is the answer. Okay. So how do you form the uh, um relative pronoun here? I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. That's it. Who has a good sense of humor. Good job. 
Um, number three, let me see who wants to help me with number three. Yes, Jamie. Jamie, pero creo que teníamos dos Jamie, ¿verdad? Um, no, o solo so... Jancis, eran Jancis. Dos, dos Jancis eran, ¿verdad? Sorry, sorry, Jamie. Okay, tell me the number three, please, Jamie. The number three is, I prefer a roommate. Prefer. The answer is, this person is cute and considerate. Mm -hmm. Prefer, prefer. Quiet, no quit. Aha, that, thank you, thank you, Brandy. Hay tres palabras, there are three words that are very similar, se escriben un poquito parecidas y podríamos confundirnos. Ahí tenemos el quiet, okay, everybody. Quiet. Okay. El quit es este. What is the meaning of quit? I quit. I don't want to continue. Oh, yeah. Oh, to I fire, right? Something. To uh, to to finish. Stop or, exactly. Stop yeah. doing something. Yeah. yeah. That is quit. Y la otra quiet es esta. What is the meaning? Se escriben casi igual, si se fijan. Quiet, quiet. Esa es la segunda quiet. Y la otra no. Ajá, esta. Quiet, quiet, quit. Ajá. It's quiet. So, so yeah. Like a silence. Quiet. Silence. Quiet. Mm, silence. Yeah. Esta quiet es silence. Ajá. Quiet. And the silence. second one. Yes. What is the second one mm, meaning? Have you seen like, uh, how are you? I'm pretty good. I'm pretty well. Like a little or bastante. See, como bastante. I'm quite okay. I'm quite fine. She's That's quite pretty. Favorite. Como very, ¿verdad? Podría ser como very o bastante. También podríamos decir, ah, very pretty. She's quite pretty, right? Puede ser okay. algo o bastante bonita. Okay. A very, very pretty. Y quit ya me dijeron, ¿verdad? To stop doing something. To finish to do something. Okay. So, I uh, prefer, guys. And. Give me a second. I need to remove the drawings. Si no, no puedo seguir. Okay. Bien, pues, hago otra cosa si no muevo esto. Mm -hmm. Clear all and remove this. Okay, so, how do you form the um, relative pronoun, guys? I prefer roommate who is quiet and considerate. All right, very good. I prefer... A roommate who is quiet and considerate. Very good. Number four. Help me. Yancy Andrea. ¿Qué, ¿Qué pasó con las cámaras, chicos? ¿Qué pasó? ¿Están o no están? Are you there or not? It's got mail. Uh -huh. Vaya. Hagamos que los demás no se encuentran acá, ok. Uh, let me see, um, um, Pablo, help me, ok. Pablo, Pablo. Number four. I don't like to be with people. Uh -huh. Pablo. Teacher. What's the what is the the number five? Tell me the answer. Four. four. Ah, sorry, four, four number four. No. To be with people. I don't, uh -huh. I don't. I don't like. Uh, I don't like to be with people. I, I don't like to be with people. Um. Um, I don't feel 
comfortable around these people. La mesa, ajá, la mesa cómoda, no, es comfortable, puede ser dos pronunciations. You can say comfortable, as Brady says, comfortable o comfortable. Comfortable, everybody repeat, comfortable, 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 ok. ¿Cómo nos queda, Pablo? Uh, I don't feel comfortable around these okay. people. With the relative pronoun, usando la relative pronoun. He is not here. <laughs> You're not listening, Pablo. Mm, Roberto Do you hear me like breaking up guys? Me escuchan así cortado también todos No, ¿verdad? No, it's okay, it's no, clear It's not in on my side, okay? It's a problem on your uh, connection, Pablo it's pro There's no problem Tell me, Roberto, how do you form the relative pronoun here? Um, it's uh, maybe uh, Why don't I don't feel comfortable around this. Uh huh. Mm, who I don't feel comfortable about. Around about, this. About. About. These people okay. ya sería todo el, el, el sujeto. Ya dijimos de la people. Y estamos espe especificando these people. We are talking about these people. So, yeah, I don't like to be with people with, perdón, who I don't feel comfortable around. That's it. Mm -hmm. who I don't feel comfortable around. Thank you, okay. Tanya. Mm -hmm. Number five. Okay. Can you show me the options? Sure, sure. I'll show you the options. No problem, Milagro. I understand. No problem. So if I, if I, uh, you will help me with number six, okay? Yo sé que no puede encender la cámara, pero si puede tal vez hablar, you can tell me number six. So, tell me the five, the number five, Tanya. Uh, um, I want to discuss my problems with friends. And this person has good leadership qualities. She? Leadership, all right? Leadership. Leadership. Ship, the ship, the claro de ti, no. Shh. Cabecito. Ship. Ship, leadership. Ajá. Leadership. Okay, ship, perdón. No es ship, no es ship de oveja, no es más largo, sino leadership. Ship. Cortito. Leadership. Okay. Otra vez. Ship. Everybody, guys, no es leader. Chi, chi, es shi. Miren la boca, ya. Yeah. Chi, no. Chi, chi, no. Sh. Okay, ship, ship, leadership, 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 okay, ¿cómo nos queda entonces? How do you form the relative pronoun? That is not the correct answer, teacher. That's not the correct answer, all right, so let's, let's ask some, let me see, Jancy, Andrea, what is the correct answer here? Thank you, Brandy. Let me see the option. Okay. Mm -hmm. You will help me with the number seven, Carla, okay? Yeah, I saw your, your hand raised. No problem. Thank okay, you. Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. Maybe the, the last one. Okay, read it. Read it. Mira, con esa posición está así como que... Ay, me duele la cabeza. Come on. Me Póngase en una posición más así activa. Si no, le manda el cerebro como que me voy a dormir. I'm going to fall asleep. Okay? Esa es la señal que manda y nos manda a todos. Sí o no, guys? Si nos vemos así. Mira, es Brandy. Mejor no digo nada, ¿verdad? 
Yeah, I'm sorry to be quiet. Because <laughs> I don't know why you think a lot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, sorry, sorry. Baja, entonces, Gen Z. Just pay attention, please. Thank you, exactly. Pay attention. I think the last one. Okay, last one. Read the last one. This person is quite considered. Are you sure? We, but we have just used that one already. Pay attention, pay attention. Help me. Me. Um, yes, me. Jonathan, tell me. I, I think the correct answer is these people are warrant and sensitive. All right, sensitive. very good. You can say sensitive, sensitive. Sen sensitive. Exactly. Como los británicos dicen sensitive, sensitive, pero en americano, pues en general así hablamos todos, ¿verdad? Porque estamos bien americanizados. So it's sensitive, yeah, sensitive. Okay? Yeah. okay. Warm and sensitive. Okay, good job. So what is the um, relative pronoun? And I want to discuss my problems who people are warned and sensitive. With friends. With friends. With friends who? Are. who? Uh -huh. With friends who friends. are? Who are? With friends who are warm? No, who are warned and sensitive. Warm. All right. Warm man. Warm man. Warm man. Warm and okay. Lo que hacemos aquí. Eh, creo que en alguna vez se les he mencionado yeah. a algunos de ustedes, ¿verdad? Hacemos un pequeño puente, right? Worm. And... There are three words that sound different too, like a worm, worm, que es como espada, ¿verdad? Y gusano, creo que también se dice similar. Worm, mm -hmm. yeah, worm, but remember, depends on the, the context. Sí, todo depende en el contexto. Nada más lo que quiero decirles es ¿Cómo hacer ese puente? ¿verdad? Pero no decir warm and, sino que decir warm and sensitive. Warm and, o sea, que hacemos Perfect. casi que una sola palabra. Uh -huh. Warm and sensitive. Warm and sensitive. Exactly. Warm and sensitive. Warm -man. Everybody, the, uh, um, I don't want to discuss my problems with friends who are warm and sensitive. Come on. Warm and people uh, with friends who are, who are warm and sensitive. Warm and, warm and. Warm and sensitive. Warm and sensitive. All right. And number seven, say, I, I asked Marina. She said, Milagro, number perdón. Six. Yeah, number six. Or, oh. No, la seis es para, 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 para yeah. Milagro. Mine la seven. Seven. Your number is number, yeah, your number is the seven, Carla. All right, you help yes. me with seven. Yeah, she says she cannot turn on the camera, but she can participate. No problem. Mm -hmm. Hello? One, two. Three. Me, teacher. <laughs> All right. Yeah, uh, bye, Marina. Usted no tampoco tiene la cámara. Dele, dele, entonces. Come on. I'd rather have a boss. But um, I don't know what is the options. Okay. What are the options? What are the what options? Are? Yeah. What are... Y ahí, ahí, le vamos, ahí voy a corregir otra cosa, ¿ok? ¿Se okay. acuerdan ustedes? Do you remember? Si yo sí si me acuerdo que lo hemos visto en ciclos, en otros módulos anteriores, cuando decimos, I don't know. Do you remember the topic that we were talking about? I don't know. The... Um, Indirect questions. Indirect questions. I don't know what are the options. Esa es una pregunta. Hey, what are the options? Esa es una respuesta, una pregunta directa. ¿Cuáles son las preguntas, teacher? What are the questions? Okay, or what are the options? Okay. Si estoy, si estoy hablando con una indirect questions, tenemos ciertas... Eh, Phrases. We have some uh, um, phrases that we don't normally use the, the the regular question. Sino que si yo digo I don't know, yo digo entonces I don't know what the options. 
Car. Le esto y el R al final. Exactly, Carla. Así se dice. I don't know what the options are, teacher. ¿Ok? No estoy preguntando, sino que digo, hey, no sé Car. cuáles son las opciones. ¿Ok? So, what, what are the Would options? Would you like to show me? Or may I know what are the options, please? Ajá, uh -huh, exactly. Can you please tell me what the options are? Ok, todas esas expresiones, ¿verdad? Thank you, you remember very well. Good job, guys. Good, good job, girls. Ok, va pues. What are the, what are the options and what, are the, uh, what is the correct answer here? Espérenme, que cuando escribo aquí en la pizarra se me, se me... Tengo que volver a quitar todo. Ok, vamos. Here. Mm. People are organized and intelligent. Intelligent, all right. People are organized and intelligent. Uh, form the relative I... pronoun. Who? Yeah, the complete uh, the complete relative pronoun. Okay, toda la expresión. I rather have a boss. Who people are organized and intelligent? But this is not the correct answer. It is not the correct answer either. Correct porque answer. a boss no puede ser people. Es una okay. persona. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, le vamos a dar chance a otra persona. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, um, hmm. Ever, are you there? Yes, teacher. Tell me the number six, please. What is the six. correct answer? Mm -hmm. uh, this person has good leadership qualities. Leader, leadership leadership qualities. qualities. This is the answer. This is the answer. Vaya. Si ven que Brandy nos está corrigiendo es porque ella ya la hizo. ¿Verdad? Entonces nos estás ayudando ahí a decir cuáles son las respuestas correctas. So pay attention, guys, pay attention. Okay, so this person, ¿por qué estoy hablando del jefe y esta persona? Okay, so how do you form the relative pronoun, milagro? Wait, 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 guys. Deme un chance que vamos a ver si todos están en la misma sintonía. In the same symphony. Or in the same page. Sorry, eh, me mencionaron. Perdón, es que como estoy en el trabajo. Ah, uh, don't worry, it's okay. Flor, are you there? Yes. Yes, I'm there. I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> All right, Flor. Please turn on the camera, okay? Uh, Marina, what happens to your camera? Tiene dos. Ah, tenemos dos Marinas actually, y las dos tienen cámaras apagadas. Eso, very good, Marina. Give me a second. I need, I need to take notes. Believe me or not, yo siempre hago reporte de los que tenemos. La verdad, la voluntad de participar, porque hay gente que solo sigue, pues, en los cursos, pero solo está aquí pasando el tiempo, ¿verdad? Yo creo que eso no es fair, that's not fair, no es, no es justo que usted vaya a un avanzado y, si que, y, y estemos en básico, ok, y no pongamos de nuestra parte, así que that's what I do guys, sorry but it's okay if they, if they don't want to participate there are other people who can't participate that is why I always ask por eso es que siempre pregunto verdad, para que no digan, no es que la teacher nunca me preguntó, no si la teacher nunca se dio cuenta que estaba en la clase, no verdad o sea, no, ok, para que no digan yo les doy la oportunidad a todos, ¿ok? Para, pero como dice Brandy, ok, si no quieren participar, no hay problema. Levanten la mano los que quieren participar entonces, porque entonces la clase no es solo para dos, tres personas, sino que para todos, y hay que incluirnos a todos, ¿verdad? Pero para que no digan, es que la teacher solo a Brandy escoge, es que la teacher solo habla con Raúl o con Yancy, ¿verdad? I have a question. Yes, tell me. Which is our level? Are your a level is pre advanced? So we continue. We why we continue talking on Spanish? <laughs> good, 
good yeah that's a good um that's a good comment <laughs> all right I mean, if somebody you know, don't understand uh something they should ask but why we have to continue you know with why we should continue talking in spanish right yeah if you don't want if you don't understand you can say hey teacher can you repeat the question so i can answer the question in different ways all right yeah I'll or go back as a this. last resource as a last as as uh, as a last resource we can actually just make it in Spanish, but yeah, we're in advance. So we shouldn't be talking in Spanish. Thank you, Brandy, for reminding that, okay? Thank you. So what's the answer here, um, Marina Stephanie? Or how do you form? Uh, thank you, Jamie. I know you want to participate, but uh, the seventh is for the... Okay, Jamie, do it. Tell me. Is no, 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 the seven. No, I asked for the con for the relative pronoun for a uh, sentence oh, here. No, mm -hmm. good person has good leadership. No, 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 no. Oh. One more time. I rather had a boss. I rather, sorry, <laughs> sorry. I rather had a boss. Good person has good leadership. No, no, well, no, 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 no. Ya dijimos el boss es el person. Eso es lo que vamos a quitar. Vamos, Marina, wait a moment. Thank you, Flor. Ya le vamos a dar el chance si Marina no nos contesta. Marina Stephanie, of course. No Sánchez. Sánchez is not there. Ya vi que no está ahí. Uh -huh. I'd rather have a person who has good leadership. Okay, is... también se puede. Yeah, you Probably. can change inst instead of that. Instead of the boss, puede decir the person. Good job. Esa es otra forma. Excellent. Yeah. No necesariamente vamos a hacer como otra vez, ah, a boss who has a good leadership qualities. No, puede ser también, I really have a person who has good, leader, uh, good leadership qualities. And finally, uh, you tell me, Carla, she wants to participate a long time ago. So I'm sorry for not uh, giving you the, the chance, but this is the one that I, um, that I want you to please answer, okay? Okay, thank you. Mm -hmm. So number seven says, I prefer to have teachers. And I think that the correct answer to that one is these people are organized and intelligent. Okay. Now with the relative pronoun, it would be, I prefer to have teachers who are organized and intelligent. That's it. Correct. Excellent, Perfect. guys. Perfect. A applause for you guys. Uh, you're doing really well. Thank you for your participation. And scroll yeah. down. Scroll yeah. down. Ahí está, ¿eh? <laughs> scroll down. Scroll down. We had two more exercise. Yeah, yeah, I know. So, so guys, uh, we will continue with um with the next relative pronouns. Uh, aunque si se fijan. Aquí ya las prácticamente las hicimos. Lo que vamos a hacer, right, well, sorry, sorry. English, English environment, sorry. All right, what the instructions, please help me read the instructions. Um, Susana, all right? Sorry, can you hear me? Yes, of course. All right. I have a trouble with my phone, sorry. Uh, rewrite the following statement using who that to make one sentence okay so, all right. yeah to make one sentence so example i don't want i don't want to have a partner i don't have nothing to do with or nothing in common with i don't have a partner who i have nothing in common with ya se las había dicho la, la, al inicio so the the answer is already given so you just need to give me you just need to retype what i just said or what we just um um said before okay what uh what we were discussing about so tell me i'm gonna have it who wants to answer yes, this can yes. you help me yes brandy would you like to help me can you pronounce the instruction the first word rewrite thank you my pleasure rewrite the following statements rewrite the following yes, we statements. don't have we don't have to pronounce the w no no, actually, no. I mentioned that yesterday, like write, wrote, write, uh, written, 
writer, right? Yeah, we don't pronounce uh, um we don't pronounce um the W before an R, all right? Yeah, that's a good point, and that's a very good question because many people say right, white, right? It's not the color, right? All right, so it's right, right, right. The, the W is mute, silent, not pronounced. So help me with the number one. Who wants to help me with these guys? Yes, and Jancy, tell me, Jancy. Um, I like to meet people who have a good sense of humor. That's it. Let's copy, to make it easy, you can just copy this and let's do this. Copy and paste. And what we are going to remove is this. These people. Ya está ahí. Solo le vamos a poner aquí. Who. All right. That's it. That's it. I'm not sure if the period will be necessary. Ya vamos a ver if the period is necessary or not. Number two. Who wants to do this one? Me, I can try. Sure, Jonathan. Tell me. Okay, I don't like to be with people who I have nothing in common with. Yes, we just mentioned that. You paid attention, so that is good. Um, so I just move this parenthesis and we write who. Let's send it. Hmm, what's the mistake here? I don't like to be with people. This is exactly what happened to me. Oh, I, I have really nothing in common with. with. The period. I'm not sure. I don't think it's the period. Yeah, it's like the period. <laughs> yeah, Brandy. You see, you. guys. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. As you see, sometimes the period is necessary. But, for example, in the beginning, in this one, we didn't put the period, you see? I didn't put the period and it was correct. But in the second one, there was missing a period. If you don't put the period, that is why that is why there was wrong, okay? There was a mistake. That's it. Then let's continue. I have a chat. I like to meet people who have good sense of humor. Yeah, that's the correct answer. Lesson objective, help me read. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Who has not practiced too much today? Ever you want to read? Go and read the instructions. Go ahead. Uh -huh. By the end of this class, participants will be learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. Yeah, we'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. Characteristics. Thank you. Okay. So what type of personality do you know, guys? I hope you have watched this video so you know um, as many as characteristics or personalities or performance people have. Uh, besides this, maybe you can watch the video, take notes. If you don't remember some of them, let me know if you know, uh, if you have a question to uh, about their meaning, all right? But don't tell me, teacher, what que significa now? What do you what what is the meaning of this or what does this mean? What does this word mean? Okay? Pay attention and take notes. Hi everyone. By the end of this class you'll learn adjectives that describe personal characteristics. And you'll listen to an audio program in which you'll identify the adjectives that best describe each individual. So let's get started by learning the adjectives that you see before you. I'll be making this document available so you can have it for reference. Easy going. An easy going person is someone who doesn't worry much or get angry easily. Egotistical. Please pay attention. I'm going to take notes about, about the, um, the word or the characteristics and then you will describe the meaning, right? Yeah, in your own words. You don't have to tell me exactly what it has there. Otherwise, you can just take a picture or you can just take a, sna a, a snip or, or a screenshot and you will say, okay, this is, the, this is the, the answer. But tell me the answer in your own words, okay? 
So we have the first one that is um, easy going, right? Right. Easy going. What would be another synonym for easy going? Take it easy, dude. Uh huh. Any other word, like just a synonym? Maybe not a synonym, but something that you can understand in a in an easier way. You only like once. You only like once. Once. One time. Oh, what what do you mean? Hakuna matata. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. In in a word, that's what you want to say. That you want uh, the like to have the um, the meaning or the definition in a word. Yeah, that's what you wanted to. That's what you wanted to ask ever. Do it at yeah. once. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you can. You can just say in a in a in just in in a word. I will say like friendly, peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. Easy going. That's. That's what you say. Hakuna matata. That is not a. That's not a word, but it's a. It's a really good uh, way to. Uh, if somebody doesn't understand, it's a good way to to let them know. All right. If a person doesn't understand, it's a good way to let her or him know. Okay. The next. An egotistical person is someone who has a very high opinion of himself or herself. Inflexible. An inflexible person is someone who doesn't change easily and is stubborn. Modest. A modest person is someone who doesn't brag about his or her accomplishments. Sociable. A sociable person is someone who enjoys being with other people. Stingy. A stingy person is someone who doesn't like sharing. Supportive. A supportive person is someone who is helpful and encouraging. Temperamental. A temperamental person is someone who has unpredictable or irregular moods. Unreliable. Uh, you're able to listen, right? Are you? Listening? Yeah. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. An unreliable person is someone who doesn't do what he or she promised. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to listen to an audio program at this time. And as I mentioned, we need to be familiar with these adjectives in order for us to answer the questions from this audio program. What we're going to do in this audio program is we're going to listen to a description of Andrea, James, and Mr. Johnson. And then what I would like for you to do is to choose the best statement that describes each individual. So let's listen to that audio program at this time. So, have you seen Andrea lately? Yeah, I see her once in a while. How's she doing? I've been meaning to call her. Well, to be honest, she's kind of been getting on my nerves lately. What do you mean? She's changed a lot since we've started college. She talks about herself all the time, and she always manages to mention how good she is at everything she does. Really? That would be annoying. It is. You know... She asked me to be roommates with her next semester, but I don't think I want to live with her. She used to be really generous, but now she's just the opposite. And it's not just with money, but her time as well. Well, college can be stressful. You two are good friends. Maybe you need to talk more. Are you going to James's party on Saturday? Of course. James always gives the best parties, and there are always lots of interesting new people to meet. It's true. I don't know where he manages to find them all. Well, you know what he's like. He makes friends very easily. He really likes talking to people, and he loves inviting people over. Uh-huh. He invited me for dinner last Saturday. What a feast! Yeah, 
He's a great cook, too. After dinner, I offered to help clean up, and he told me not to worry about it. He said he'd take care of it later. He was like, it's nothing, no big deal. Yep, that sounds like James. Have you met the new apartment manager? Mr. Johnson? Yeah, I met him last week. He's a little strange. Yeah, he is. I'm not sure I like him. He's hard to predict. Sometimes he's pretty cheerful and talkative, and the next day he doesn't even say hello. I think he must have personal problems or something. I think you're right. And have you noticed that half the time when he says he's going to do something, he never actually does it? He told me three times he'd come to fix the light in my kitchen, and he still hasn't done it. Okay, that's a kind of long audio, but it's kind of uh, interesting, right? Uh, is there a new word you learn or you want to listen to the audio or the uh, watch the video one more time? For me, a new word, it's that one, unreliable. Unreliable. So I always say liar or something like that, but I didn't know that one. So that one, it's new for me. You can just say not reliable because reliable is an, it's a very common word uh, some somebody who you can trust with all oh, right yeah. uh, on who on whom you can trust so that's a reliable person so ang means the opposite right it's not and anything that you can see stoppable and stoppable okay anything that has an that un at the beginning is the opposite all right or uh, for example the and the antonym of um typical atypical so you have a an a at the beginning all right sometimes you have a un sometimes you have an a like or I have an apple happy, happy and happy exactly yeah okay guys uh so let's let's check the um so for easy going you can say oh a chilling person right chilling Easy going, friendly. Um, what about ego egotistical? Egotistical. Mm -hmm. What about that? Uh huh. What's the meaning? You want to listen to the uh, to the audio again, or or you're you're fine. Is a person who have uh, who has who has a high opinion of him or herself. Okay. Like he he thinks or this person thinks he's the last Coca Cola in the desert, right? That's uh, that's a good one. Okay. Yeah, ego has a lot of ego, right? Nice. Uh huh. What about uh, the inflexible person. <laughs> Susana? <laughs> <laughs> so you see another, you, you, has, you have an I-N, that's another word. You have sensible or uh, flexible, so insexible, inf sexy, inflexible. Okay. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay, so you see, they are like the opposite of the, of the word that you normally know. What's the answer, uh, Susana? You raise your hand. Uh, so one is stubborn. Stubborn. That will be a word that describes anything. Stubborn, right? Stubborn. That would be a good in a good way or in a bad way, right? Uh, because stubborn, in my opinion, stubborn is somebody who doesn't want to understand that uh, something is not going to work but a stubborn person could be could be fine because a stubborn is like no, somebody who never stops trying yeah stubborn stubborn in a good way yeah you keep you keep trying you keep trying to, you keep going no no matter what happens so you're stubborn okay but in a good way 
I believe it's it's also a positive uh, characteristic of a person. Okay, Would but you like stubborn. To type this word. Yes, the word. Stubborn. How you how you write write this word? How do I write this word? It is actually here. So Look, let's get started. Let me learning. put it here. Mm, it is here. Can you see my arrow here? Like, like the little arrow here moving? Yeah. A stubborn. That's the word. Uh, mm -hmm. well, thank yeah. you. That's my pleasure, Brandy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jamie, uh, do you have a question? Gladys, Gladys maybe Arabo escribió en el chat que fue al dentista. Da, 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 da. No, no Spanish. We say no Spanish. Come on, Jamie. Try. Try your best. Try your best. Teacher, um, she said, would you like to check the chat? <laughs> this came from the, uh, yeah, I saw, I saw, I understand, Gladys, no problem. I actually saw your message. I'm sorry that sometimes I cannot chat on um, WhatsApp and sometimes I'm kind of focused on the class and sometimes I don't, I don't see the messages, but it is good that you let us know. Okay, so no, no problem and thank you. Well, and I'm, I hope you feel much better. I know I'll go to the dentist tomorrow and I hope that I can speak tomorrow with you guys. <laughs> I need to go to the dentist as well. But I hope that they don't remove any, 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 any tooth. All right. Um, good. Thank you, Jamie. I thought you had another question, but thank you for uh, letting me know. So I didn't notice that it was in this chat, but I noticed and that it was on in WhatsApp chat. Mm -hmm. So we have the other word, a modern person. What's a modern person in a, in a word or in a few words, in your own words? You can, you can see the meaning here. Se lo voy a dejar para que no digan, I, I, don't, I don't understand. But if you don't understand a word, you can tell me, you can ask me. Mm -hmm. So an easygoing could be, if he's not angry, he's happy all the time, right? Easygoing, yeah. relax all the time. Like it's relaxed, it's a relaxing person. Mm -hmm. The mother person you have, you see a mother, I'm sorry, mother, mother, modest, okay? Modest person. In one word, how do you say that? How humble. would you? Humble. All right, humble. That's a very good word. Yeah, humble. People, people say, <laughs> people say that humble, or people confuse humble with another word, which is um. How do you translate this word in Spanish? Hmm. Which word? Mm, humble. Humilde? Not humilde. So, humil. Humilde. That's the word in English. Humilde. It's not the same to say humble than humilde. Humilde, it's, where, it's when we come from very low resources. In English, right? If we're talking about humilde person, it's a person who doesn't uh, have enough um, enough resources. Especially, well, resources, you know, if you don't have money, you don't have mm, any other resources. You cannot buy clothes, you cannot buy your own house, you cannot have your own car, etc. So, but it's not the same humble as humil. Okay, good. Okay. Um, all right. So we have sociable. In another word, what can we talk about sociable person? When you are friendly, friendly, mm -hmm. uh, someone who is talkative, yeah, talkative as well. We can use something like a easy going to we exactly, is it going? Is it going as well? Yeah, is it going? Yeah, it could be another word that it's very similar to that one. Another. Somebody say friendly too. Yeah. Which is the other one? 
friendly, talkative. Another, guys. We have a brainstorm here. Easy going. Easy going as well. Yeah, as Brandy says. Mm -hmm. They're very similar. Actually, they could be synonyms. Um, you can say also, yeah, pleasant. Yeah, pleasant person. A pleasant person. Somebody who you enjoy to be with. Okay. Yep. The other one is, oh, gather, for example. People who really add that, that you really want to gather with, to get in touch with, to have a relation uh, or, um, yeah, relationship is not like sexual relationship, you know, or, or, or love relationship. You can talk about anybody, all right? You have a relationship with somebody, but not, not necessarily your boyfriend or girlfriend, okay? Stingy, that's another word, guys. I hope that you can that you can give me one word. There is a one word that you can actually say like a synonym. But besides that, you're going to give me examples with that, okay? Because well, we were just listening. Tell me, Brandy. Ungenerous. Mm. Not generous. Mm -hmm. Selfish. I say selfish. Un ungenerous. Selfish. Mm, selfish. Mm, selfish is like ego egotistical. What egotistical. did you say? Sorry. Yeah. When you don't like to spend. You don't like to spend anything. Can, what? Can you repeat yeah. the word, uh, Robert? I couldn't hear you. Reserve. Uh, reserved or reserved? Reserved. 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 Mm, but uh, that reserved is more like when you are kind of, mm, you uh, you are not not quiet, right. but you can keep a secret, like uh, like a reliable person, like mm, nobody, nobody, he doesn't say, or this person doesn't say anything when you tell them because they keep your secret, for example. Okay? But there is another word that is you're so mean, mean, tacaño, mm -hmm. mean, it's another word, okay, um, nice, another word that you can tell me, guys, miserably say, uh, miserable, that... yeah, thank you, Gladys, I'm sorry, I'm not checking, uh, it's I'm not... miserable or miserable, miserable, okay. miserable, if anything, you don't like to give anything away, yeah? Mm -hmm. Good job. You see, you see, hardworking, but we're talking about ungenerous, stingy, stingy, ungenerous yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. Hardworking, we're not talking about that, Vanessa, right now. The stingy does, doesn't have anything to do with hardworking. Okay, maybe, but it doesn't, it doesn't mean that you... I mean, if you work, work hard, not necessarily you're going to be stingy, right? All right? You can be generous because you work and you have enough money to give. to give. Or even though you don't have enough money, you can give. You can give money or you can give charity. You can give, um, oh, you can give support to anyone as well. Not even if you don't have enough money. For example, I don't have like thousands of dollars either. And I give I give a quarter to a person who's on the street, right? They are asking for money, so you 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 give them away. But a stingy person that, that doesn't give anything, right? He wants to keep everything to himself or to herself. Yeah, saver. It could be as well, but it's not in a good way, all right? And I don't think like not that not sharing. It's not good. I mean. If you believe in God, guys, who believes in God here? Don't tell me you're atheist. Mm -hmm. In a moment, Susanna. Mm -hmm. If you believe in God, God says that we, sh we need to share, right? Or not? Yes. yes. Yes, right. We need to share, right? 
Um, so that's what that, that's what Jesus did as well. He gave us an example like that. Okay, Susana, what do you have to say? Sorry, penny pinching, no ready. Okay, that's a uh, new word, right? Very good. Look at the word. Um, I oh, you sent it to me only, um, Brandy. Let's uh, let's share it. Yeah, yeah. Don't worry. Let's share it to everyone. Okay, penny pinching. That's a new word, right? Penny pinching. Okay, that's that's a very good synonym, and that's like very very exact word that we can actually uh, use as a synonym. Susana, what did you want to say? I was wondering if we can use the word uh, greedy for stingy. For stingy or for which one? Yeah, for stingy. We can use greedy. Greedy. Uh, how do you spell it? G R E E D. Why? Sorry. Greedy. Yeah. I think G R E E T. I don't know. I'm, I'm thinking just in my mind. I'm not. I don't know how to spell it. It came to your mind. Oh, we can look for it. Give me a second. Let's look. Let's look for it here. Okay. Look, guys. This is a very nice. Um, website or there is a, I, also an application yes carla oh i'm sorry i guess it's g-r-e-e-d-y greedy oh okay that's the word all right so that's the that's the greedy so yeah it doesn't uh, it's not spelled with a t but with a d thank you carla okay yeah that's you see right yeah yeah, that's a good word as well. Thank you. Thank you, you both. Uh, thank you both, Carla and, and Susana. So yeah, you see, that's that, that's another good, good word. Yeah. The word that has a penny pinching here, let me see here, guys. Aha, yeah, you see, you have a lot of words that you can uh, that you can actually use instead of stingy. Nice. Now, guys, remember that the most important thing is not to know the meaning, it's how to use it in the context. Avaricious. Mm -hmm. Avaricious. Let me see. I was on mute. This is the one you say. Yeah, you see another one. Uh huh. Now somebody texts. Oh, you see. Okay, sorry. Yes, so that's good, Carla. You're 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 checking. What is these guys saying? Come on. Yeah, you see, there are many words that you can that you can um uh talk about that. Yeah. If you don't know the meaning, if you don't know how to how to how to pronounce them. How to pronounce <laughs> Abo, avaricious, avaricious. Mm -hmm. Oh, aquí lo ven, ve. En este caso, in this case, there is not, uh, there is not um, sounds. Yeah, it's, it's easy to read, teacher. Yeah, <laughs> a little bit. Yeah, but for example, greedy. Let's, le let's look for this. This is the one that you can hear, look. Greedy. In some words, you can see the pronunciation. You can listen to the pronunciation. But in some others, it's not possible. But in this case, it's easy. Greedy. Mm -hmm. Nice guys. So Please. finally, finally, we're almost done. Remember the 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 homework that you have for tomorrow is to give me examples with these few words that we just learned. I know that they're not like kind of new, but for some of you, actually, there were some new words like unreliable, as Carla says. All right, or Susana, I don't remember who of who of them so says that said that. Sorry. Then, um, yeah, watch the video and give me examples, okay? You can listen to the audio as well. And then you, need, you can give me, yes, Carla. Oh, do you need one example for each word or? It would be awesome. Obviously, it's, okay. a, it's a homework. If It's up to you if you do it. The advantage is for you, all right, that you practice, all right? Uh, it's, it's easy. Look, it's super easy. Um, 
If I see the example here, greedy, there you have the examples. The greedy salesman wouldn't allow people to return. Good. All right. There is a there is an example there. All right. So the the thing is how to use it. Guys, I need to leave. I need to go. I have the other class coming. Okay. Bye bye. See you tomorrow. Don't forget the homework. Thank you. Es por su bien, chicos, no por mío. Okay. Bye bye. Bye bye. Take care.